Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. My name is Jacqueline Ray and today's video is going to be my Sephora VIB haul. And I'm gonna have a review on every single one of the products I purchased. Um, I say this every time, I usually don't do normal hauls. I usually always use the products for a couple weeks and then I haul them so that I can kind of give you a little review on them. So I have all my Sephora VIB sale stuff in this box. I kept it in this box. It's been killing me. I kept it in the packaging. Um, but I do also have a couple other items that I've picked up along the way that are not from Sephora uh, that I wanted to talk about that I've been testing out. So with that said, if you want to see all this stuff that I've got and little mini reviews on them all, then just keep watching. All right, the first item I picked up, I was super skeptical about getting this because it's really expensive. Thankfully, we had a discount, but I don't know. I was just, I've always been skeptical about trying these, but everybody kept telling me, try them, try it, try it. So I did pick up one of the Viseart. I don't know if it's Viseart or Viseart, and I've heard so many people question that, and I don't know the right answer either. But this is the Warm Matte Palette. This is what I have on my eyes, and I have been wearing this every single day since I got it. It looks like this. I'll go ahead open it up so you can see it. So here are the colors. They're obviously very warm uh, neutral tones which are kind of my favorite even though I've been really dwelling into more color recently. Um, I really have been enjoying it. Now do I think these shadows are say better than Makeup Geek or Anastasia or I don't know other freaking brands I use. No, I mean they're great. They blend beautifully, but so does my Modern Renaissance. So does my Makeup Geek. So does, you know, my um, Soft Glam palette. I think these are great shadows. I do think they're overpriced. Um, they are beautiful. They're pigmented. They're blendable. They're not patchy, but neither are the ones that I just mentioned. So um, I do like it. I don't think it's worth the price tag though. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm just like eh, about it. I'm not gonna return it because I do, I do like the shades in it. I am, I have been able to get like really beautiful looks with this. But if I could go back, I wouldn't repurchase it just for the price. There's so many other eyeshadow palettes and eyeshadow formulas out there that are just as good as this for half the price. The next item is just a repurchase. I got it in a darker shade for the summer and that is my Dior Forever foundation. This is like my holy grail foundation. I love it. I have it on today. Um, it's a little bit dark and I actually got an even darker one and went and returned it and exchanged it for this one. This one is in, what shade is this? This one is in 030 medium beige. I can't read today apparently. Um, I should go a little bit lighter but now I want I noticed once I put kind of my concealer on and powder and all that stuff it's it's workable I don't think I need to return it um, but I do need to have a, a good tan to wear this. Another repurchase is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I love this for the summer it's a champagne -y gold you know just hydrating primer. I love this. I This is probably the third bottle I've gotten of this and I love it so I do recommend this. I have been using the purple one, the uh, First Light. Yeah, I think it's the Becca, it's right here, hold on. Ah! Yeah, it's the Becca First Light. You can see I've used, I'm over halfway done with the bottle. So I really like that for the winter but I think this is definitely my favorite for the summer and I do mix this with um, thicker, more full coverage foundations just to kind of thin them out and give it a little bit more luminosity. I love this product. Okay, this product. Boy, do I have a lot to say about this product, but this is the Sunday Riley Influencer Foundation. I am so back and forth on this foundation, it's not even funny. I got shade 140. Um, it's way too light for me right now. I did go out in the sun and I got pretty tanned um so it's not matched me now but when it did match me I wore it like some days I'm like I freaking hate this 
it's emphasizing on my dry patches it really breaks up right around my nose and right between my eyebrows it was breaking up horribly and I'm not oily I I would say now I'm a normal skin type and maybe I get a little oily there but nothing crazy that I've never had foundation break up like this um it is it's very natural looking um, but this claims that it's medium to full coverage. I don't agree with that whatsoever. Um, I had a, like a blemish here and you could still see through it. I do get kind of red around my chin area ever since surgery. Um, and it, it did not cover that up. You could still see the redness peeking through. You could see any imperfections peeking through. Um, so I don't think it's a full coverage foundation. It is more natural. It's a more um, satiny finish. It's a satin matte. I don't get matte out of it. I do see a nice sheen to the skin when I wear it. It it also claims that it's long lasting. No, this maybe maybe at the most lasts only about five hours before it's just done. And that's with like priming, putting it on, and using a setting powder and using a makeup setting spray. This is just not long lasting for me. Um, but then uh, I did, I don't like using it with a beauty blender. That shears it out too much. I do much prefer it with a brush. Um, but even then you really have to work the product into your skin. Um, and it, it gets streaky, like you really have to work it in or you'll see brush strokes. I did notice that when I use a thicker, um, like more emollient primer, it works better than when I was to use like my Becca First Light Priming Filter or the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir Drops or any more hydrating, oily, or just moisturizing um, base. It did break up a lot more and kind of sat on top of the skin and like just moved around. It never set. So I have been using it. Um, I did use it with the next one of the products I'm going to talk about. It's the uh, Tatcha Silk Canvas. It did okay with that. It wasn't perfect, but the best primer that I found to use with it, which now that I just realized I don't have the lid on it because I used it today, is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Pore Minimizing Primer. I can only wear this foundation when I use this primer. It works best with this, and then it's it's tolerable. I don't know if I want to return it. I kind of think I do because I don't want to have to work so hard to use a foundation. Like I don't want to have to think, okay, I got to use this primer and I got to use this tool and I got to blend it this much and I have to set it and I can only wear it for five hours. So I think I will be returning this. Um, I'll show you what the packaging looks like since I haven't done that. I've just been holding it up like Vanna White. But this is what the packaging looks like. I do like the packaging. It's very sleek. It kind of reminds me of the It Cosmetics uh, Your Skin But Better CC Cream. Um, it does have a pump on it, which I really appreciate. It is very watery when it comes out. It's not thick. It will drip down your hand. Um, I do like the packaging. I just, I really, I, I don't like the formula. I, like with this, I know what I'm going to get with the Dior Forever Foundation. I know what's coming. I know it's going to work with whatever primer I put on, whatever powder, and I know it's going to last me all day long, and it's going to start looking better throughout the day, not worse. So I do feel like I am going to return this. I'm not, I just don't want to have to work that hard for a foundation. So yeah, I personally, I don't recommend it, and I think if you are oily, you will hate this. And to my dry girls out there, if you have any texture or dry patches, like I had a pimple down here and I popped it because I'm a bad person and it scabbed over and it was like healing and it's that little funky healing phase and this is like, bam, you have a pimple and you popped it, burn. It's, it's like, hello, look at my blemish. So yeah, I think I'm returning it. It's a, this is a no-go for me and this makes me so sad because I love Sunday Riley. Like I love Sunday Riley. That is... Other than Rodan and Fields, that is my favorite skincare line of all time. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that. I'm a little disappointed. All right, the next product I'm going to talk about is the Tatcha, the Silk Canvas Primer. I kept it in the box because I will lose a little spatula it comes with if I don't. So it is such beautiful packaging. I posted this on my Instagram, um, and it's just like vanity candy but this is what it looks like 
it is just such a beautiful beautiful packaging i like the soft lilac ombre look to it and don't mind my nails i got gel nails and i peeled them off and it like destroyed them i need to go get them done but i don't feel like paying for it you only need i've used this about four times and that's the only dent that I have in it like you need the tiniest bit so it comes with this little um, spatula here and you can see the line on it you scrape it until the product hits that line you don't fill up this whole piece here just like until it touches the line and then you take it up you warm it in your fingers and then you blend it into your skin I have been really liking this. I didn't think I would. I thought it was kind of gimmicky, honestly. Um, and when bigger YouTubers come out and they're all raving about something, I always want to try it for myself. Not that I don't trust them. I just want to try it for myself. And I can say that this really smooths out the skin. Um, I mean, it doesn't blur my pores as well as that makeup forever step one primer but it just leaves the skin overall looking very beautiful and it really does give a nice even canvas to put on your foundation and like i said this has worked well with all the foundations that i've used it with with the exception of the sunday rally like it worked just not as good as the other ones but i don't it wasn't this it was that foundation so i really do like this I think it's a really good product. I'm going to continue to use it. Um, it's just very bougie and pretty and I want to leave it out to look at it. But the only problem is, is I know I'm going to lose this. I know I'm going to lose this little spatula. So I'm keeping it in the little box it came in so I don't. All right. So the next product, I went a little crazy and I felt a little bougie. But there was a sale. I had a gift card. And I wanted to buy something off my video that I made um, a few months back called products. I've been lusting over it was a collab with K Bella Beauty and I saw this and I was like, you know what? I'm just I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it and I got the Guerlain Guerlain This is how why I shouldn't even be buying this because I can't even pronounce it lower um, Radiance primer now This is the one that has like actual gold in it that everybody and their mother talks about like Tati um, I think Jeffree Star did I think Jaclyn Hill did um, but this is what it looks like. It literally has flecks of gold in it. The packaging is luxurious. It's bougie. But I don't think it's that great. I'm just going to say it. I don't think it's that great. I don't think it's mind-blowing. It's not changing my skin. Um, it's like supposed to like tighten your skin and just make it amazing. And honestly, my YSL, which is another bougie brand, but this is a lot cheaper, it's it's the same exact thing. It's the same thing. This is I think this is 60 I don't know. 50 60 and this is 80. Um but I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to keep it and keep playing with it. Um maybe I'll do one half of my face with it and one half without because I really haven't noticed a huge difference with this product and I'm so disappointed. Um, it does like blur your face. It does give you a nice blurring effect, but so do so many other primers that I have that are so much more affordable than this. I feel like you're just paying for the name and you're paying for the little gold flecks in it. Like I would purchase the YSL, uh, blurring primer over this one. Um, cause to me it's the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. So I'm going to keep using it before I return it, but so far I wasn't impressed with it and I'm kind of sad about it because I was expecting to look like, you know, J-Lo or Beyonce or, you know, freaking goddess after using this. But I just look like me, so I want my money back. Okay, I went a little primer crazy. I don't know why. I've just been really into primers. So now this is one, two, three, four, four primers. <laughs> That was a little, little excessive of me, but I have always got the little minis of this when it's like a hundred point perk or they have like the free samples when you order something and it's the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Like I said, I have been using this for years, just the minis. And I actually saw that, where is it? Where is it? Because I know it's in here. Um, they actually had the mini and I'm so extra. Yeah, right here. They actually had the 100 point perk mini and I got this and the large size. Like, why did I just waste 100 points? 
I don't know. I'm just so used to getting the smaller one. But I finally bit the bullet and I got the big one. And I love this primer, especially for summer, because you know, when you sweat and you get gunky, this really minimizes that. It really holds on to your foundation. It makes it last longer. It's smooth, it's luxurious. Like I love the frosted bottle. I love the way this smells. Like I love this primer and I'm so happy that I actually splurged and actually got the big bottle. But I'll just, you know, I'll use the mini one when we travel. We're gonna be doing a lot of traveling this summer with the kids. We just got a camper, so we're gonna be traveling a lot. So instead of, you know, hoarding the one tiny bathroom in the camper with my makeup, what am I kidding, I'm gonna do it anyway, but I'll downsize to that. But I really am happy about this. Now that I'm sitting here thinking like, God, you just got four primers, maybe you should return the Laure one. But I don't know, it's something I wanted for so long and I had it and it, it disappointed me. But I'm gonna keep using it. I've only used it like four or five times. Maybe I just need to, I'll just keep using it. I'll keep using it. Okay, the next product, and all these products, minus ones I tell you that I don't have on my face, are on my face. Um, and this is the NARS. I got their Liquid Blush in Luster. I kind of wish they had more shades. They only have like three. And I have Luster in the powder blush. It's one of my favorite summer blushes. But I wish they had Madly um, in the liquid because that's my probably one of my favorite blushes of all time, especially for summer. But it's just a really pretty peachy pink blush. I don't own any liquid blushes. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get a liquid blush. But I'll swatch it for you. It comes in this little like plastic thing. I've really been liking applying it with my fingers before I put powder on, obviously, but I'll like kind of tap it in with my fingers. I tried it with a sponge. It just soaked up too much product, um, but I will swatch it on the back of my It's just a really beautiful peachy blush for summer. I With a tan, this is gorgeous, but that is what it looks like. I've really been into using more liquid products or cream products and not using a powder. Um, just because, I don't know, Some I, I mean, I found a powder that works for me, which I've already talked about, but I'll talk about again. But until I found this powder, I was just like, I don't like the way my skin looks with all this powder on top of it. She's making it look older and crepey and cakey. But then I found this other powder, which we'll talk about next. But I really do like this. I just wish they had more shades. I'm really disappointed in only three shades. And if you guys can recommend me any other like cream blushes or liquid blushes that you really like, please let me know down below. I I really need to find more because I want to kind of move more towards liquid and cream products this summer. Okay, this next product, I think I've already talked about this on my channel. I'm not sure. But I was sent this by Becca through Octoly. And I just want to talk about this again because it's freaking amazing. I love this. And what is it called? I always forget the name. Uh, Becca Hydra Mist Set and Fresh Powder. This is the powder everybody and their mother is talking about that feels wet and cooling when you put it on your face. I love this powder. It comes with the little um, thing, which I already broke. <laughs> I broke it. But it has a little mesh net. Um, and it's supposed to like... I guess make it not spilling out even though it is but this keeps it cool like it keep because it's I think it's like 90% water I think that's what the claims are um but I love this now I'm going to try to put it back so you have to leave this thing clicked on it otherwise it will dry out um my kids left their phone down here and it's like a game and I'm sorry if there's like weird sound effects it's probably gonna moo at some point um but if I tell them to come down here, they're gonna to wanna to talk to me and I'm trying to get this video done. But anyway, I put this back on. This stuff is so nice for all over your face if you are dry. Cause it doesn't look like you have powder on your face. It just blurs everything. I feel like I put an Instagram or a Snapchat filter on my face. I love this. It does make your concealer under your eyes get a little bit, oh Lord, I just got this in my mouth, in my eye, Lord. Ugh. Ugh. anyway it's very finely milled and it poofs up a lot as you saw um but I don't mind it darkening the under eye because um the concealer I use is a little bit too light I'm kind of in between concealers right now I bought two but they're one's too light one's too dark so I don't mind I mean it went up my nose and now I'm trying not to sneeze 
uh, I don't mind that it kind of darkens underneath because it kind of makes it match a little better. But I do notice you don't want to buff this or like spread it on your face. I kind of press it in because if you start to buff or just like spread it on your face, it will grab hold of the other products on your face and lift them up and you will lose some coverage. So I do recommend pressing it into the skin. I really like this. I think this is a revolutionary product. I know everybody's talking about that new Hourglass Mineral Veil uh, powder and I would like to try that. Maybe when I'm done using this up, I will try that because everybody's saying really good things about it, but I've been loving this. I think if you're dry, you will really like this and you should go try it. Okay, the next product I have on my face, like I said, I'm trying to do more cream products, more liquid products, so I decided, let me try this Fenty Beauty cream stick again. I did, when they first launched, I got the trio that came with like the highlighter, the cream, like lighter color highlighter, and the contour. I didn't like it, I returned it. I liked the contour in it, I just didn't like the cream. The like white creamy shade you're supposed to like highlight the, the high points of your face and I didn't like the highlighter so I was like well let me just go and get this and I'm at first I was gonna return it I was like no I still don't like it but I found a new way to use it now when I like let me show you so it opens up it's a little stick like that when I draw it on my face and then I go back to blend it it's very hard to blend I have a really difficult time blending it back out so where's the brush I use I started using it with a certain uh, brush that has really been a lifesaver for me. So this is the Sigma Concealer Blend Kabuki F79 brush. Now, first I would draw this on and then blend it out. Yes, this is for concealer, but I really like using it to blend out cream products. So even then it was like really hard to blend and then it started looking muddy and I was like, eh, I'm not liking it. So then I got the bright idea to just kind of put this on the brush and then go in and buff it. And I love it like that. It's so much easier to blend out, so much easier to control where the product goes. You know, you're kind of making sure you're not using too much. So I literally just blend it on here and then blend it on my cheeks, my forehead, my jawline. I'm definitely loving it more that way. I'm not returning this because now I love it. Just, I don't like drawing it on my face. So if you've gotten this and you're like, oh, I don't like it, it's hard to blend or it's too pigmented, try putting it on the brush and then going in and blending it. Why am I putting it back in the box? I can now take everything out of the boxes. Okay, this product I have a love-hate relationship with because sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. Like I have it on today, I love the color of my brows. It's just not as easy to work with as the Anastasia Dip Brow. And this is the new um, Kat Von D eyebrow gels. She just released those. I I kind of went back and forth on what color to get, and I ended up getting taupe, which I don't know. It's 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 good. I like it. But it is called the 24 Hour Super Brow Long Wear Palm pomade but but that's what the outside packaging looks like I love the actual packaging on the inside I think it is so cute um, you know just throw it out of the packaging you know whatever um, but yeah here is what the packaging looks like I love it I think it's so adorable I don't know why I like little things like this so it is a really good color for me I do like the color I like it better than the Anastasia's taupe it's a little bit too gray so I've been using the uh, soft brown from Anastasia and it's a little bit too dark since I got more blonde put in my hair and this color is just right I really like it I just the formula isn't as uh, I don't know what it's like not as tacky I don't want to say tacky or like thick because that sounds bad, but okay, so the front of my brows, I have a ton of hair. I've been using the Rodan and Fields Lash Boost on my brows, and it's really grown in like intense in the front, and I'm starting to get like hair on the tail, which before I never had hair, like ever, and now I have to pluck, and it's kind of annoying, but this works beautifully on the spots I have hair too. It really clings to it. It clings to the hair. It blends out really nice, but when I get to the tail, it almost doesn't want to stick to my skin. Um, it does eventually. I almost have to go in with one layer, let it dry, and then go in with another layer, let it dry, and then another layer and build up that pigmentation. But when it's wet, it just kind of like, when I go back over it with the brush, it keeps picking up the previous product that's wet and making like bald spots. Whereas the Anastasia, I just like go whoop and 
done on there. So I'm going to play with this some more. Like I said, I really like the color. It works great in the front of my brows. It just takes me so much longer to do my brows. Like this took three times as long to do my brows today because I did the front and then I kept having to go back and wait for the tail to dry and then go back in and put it more in, wait for it to dry and put more in. So it's, I don't know. I just wish it was a little bit more, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like it just stuck to my skin better. And I've tried this like with doing my foundation first and like having something for it to grab hold to still didn't work. I tried it with no foundation, still the same problem. So I think if you have a lot of brow hair, you'll really like this. I think it's really good product. But if you have like major bald spots like I do, you're really going to have to work with it and let the product dry and then layer it. And even when you let it dry, you really have to be careful not to like use your brush and scrape up the product you put down previously. So it does take a little extra work. I do like it though, the color. I do like the color. Okay, the next two products, I'm probably going to return one of them because it's just way too dark. I, think, I thought I needed like a darker summer shade and I'm pretty dark right now and it's just, it's kind of the same color as me. But I got two of my favorite concealers which are the Urban Decay Naked Concealers and I got one in medium light warm and light warm. I have light warm on today. I love it. This has been the shade I've been using for years and this really gives you, if you're tan, it gives you a very bright, um, uh, like highlighted under eye and it's more yellow based. Um, and then I thought like, well, maybe I don't want that high, 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 highlighted under eye. So I got the medium light warm and this is almost more gray toned and I don't like it. It's almost like it makes my under eyes look darker. And even on the stickers, like you can see how yellow light warm is and how like gray, um, the medium light warm is like I expected it to be kind of the same color family just a little bit darker and it's not so I'm keeping light warm I'm just going to return the medium light warm it's just um I don't know I just it doesn't brighten my under eye at all all right two more products from Sephora and then we'll go on to the other stuff I got outside of Sephora but you guys know I love me some Sol de Janeiro I Either they send me some of their products, and if they don't send it to me, then I go out and buy it. And I had to go out and buy this as soon as I saw it. I love bath bombs. I love Lush, but they have a Sol de Janeiro bath bomb, and it smells like the body lotion. I was, like, so excited about this. Like, I haven't used it because I only have one, and they're $10. Like, $10 freaking dollars for this. But I'm going to save it for, like, you know, when my husband and the kids are maybe gone and I can take a nice relaxing bath, maybe make myself a pina colada, put some island music on it and pretend like I'm in the Bahamas. But I'm super excited to try this. I love this scent. I don't care if it makes my body soft or it doesn't, don't care. I just want it for the smell, the aromatherapy of it. I love Sol de Janeiro. Like, I love you. All right, and the last product I got is the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick, which I have on today, and this is in my favorite lipstick shade of all time out of every brand, Bow and Arrow. I have gone through probably three Bow and Arrow liquid lipsticks, and sometimes it's just too drying. Like, I love her liquid lipsticks. That's my favorite color, but sometimes it just sucks the moisture right out of my lips, and my lips look like a raisin, so I've been really liking this instead because I'm getting, woo, dropped it. I'm getting the same color, but not the, um, you know, death sucked out raisin lips. But this is what it looks like, just my favorite brownie nude. And like I said, I have it on, but I'll swatch it for you anyway. But it's just a perfect brown nude shade, like a tawny nude eye love this shade. I'm so glad it came in this lipstick form. I have the lip liner too and they pair great together. It's long lasting even though it is just a normal bullet lipstick. It really lasts on the lips. Like I just ate before I came down here to film this and I didn't touch up my lips. So I recommend these. I also like I think with the free samples I got another bum bum or boom boom cream because you know I can't have enough of those. I got a you know a little Urban Decay Primer Potion Primer. I got a Makeup Forever HD Primer. And I re-upped my Sephora VIB Rouge status. And instead of getting that same like 
crappy brush they keep giving everybody um i got this little clutch instead like can we not get like a little mini brush or this like clutch could we get like 25 dollars off our next purchase or like a makeup palette or so i mean you're spending a thousand dollars in a year you sephora like come on come on i guarantee you can have better little presents for rouges i'm just gonna throw that out there all right now on to the products i got outside of sephora right here i i did it i caved and i got kim kw beauty concealer kit i didn't buy the full kit that came with the brushes i bought these separately and i love them like i love them i first went out and got the concealer which I can't use any of this because I bought this for when I'm like super fair and I'm kind of like mad at myself because now I need to buy it again for my darker shade and I don't want to buy the kit but I kind of want the colors picked out for me for like a medium shade. I don't know but I love this concealer. This is so creamy, so pigmented. I added it to my favorites um, last month but I just, the only problem is you only get such a little bit and I like you can use so much of this and it will not look cakey it, like you can go ham with it and it's so like dummy proof you can't mess it up but i put this under my eyes it blends out beautifully it blends so quickly um and it's not matte at all but it's not like glowy and oily and greasy it's almost like a really pretty skin like finish under the eyes and then the setting powder is probably the most finely milled powder i've ever used I do suggest getting your correct shade because even though it's translucent, 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 I think it comes in three or four shades. I got shade two. Yes, I got shade two and it is way too light for me to use on my tan skin right now. So I do recommend getting the correct shade. I probably need shade three, um, but this is like a pretty pinky powder. I mean, it is like finely milled. I mean, it's like I mean, it feels like silk almost. I've never felt a powder feel so, like I literally feels like I'm rubbing my fingers in between silk. I'm very impressed. And I'm not, like I said before, I'm not a Kardashian fan. I never once watched Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I, I couldn't even name all the girls' names. Like if you showed me pictures, I probably would name them the wrong names. Like I know who Kylie is because I purchase her products and everybody knows who Kim is. But I don't know. I just don't keep up with them. <laughs> I don't keep up with the Kardashians. <laughs> but then I got the brightening powder and I got this in shade two as well. This kind of reminds me of the Becca under eye brightening powder, but better. That powder literally dries me out so bad. This does not. I really like this and I love the packaging. Like I love this nude sleek packaging, but let me open it can't get it open so it came like this it's a pinkier shade you know because when I'm fair I'm more pink um but it's just it feels a little dry when you swatch it but under the eyes it really does look pretty it really does just add this luminosity it's almost like a highlighter I don't know if you can see that on the back of my hand or not but it just it, it like the light hits your under eyes and bounces it back and I noticed that um you know any tiny lines I have here it really blurs them in pictures it looks really really good in pictures um, so if you were kind of like if you like the Kardashians or you were on the fence about you know her concealer kits which I don't again I put them back in the box I don't know why but if you're on the fence about the concealer kit I do recommend them I think it's a really good product I love the setting powder it's so much better than Laura Mercier it's so much better than the secret brightening powder um, I don't know, I think I even like it more than the Patrick Star um, MAC Collab Powder, which I I love that. I think I like it more than that. I think I need to get this in a darker shade because I just, I love, I've never felt a powder feel like silk going on my skin. So I do recommend this if you want to try it. It gets my stamp of approval. All right, the next product I'm going to talk about was sent to me by Becca through Octoly. And I already have like a bunch of these highlighters, but I don't have this one and I've, I've been wanting it. And it's the Becca Moonstone. It's the highlight I have on my skin right now. Just a really pretty like yellowy gold um, 
it's just so pretty. It's like a pretty yellow light gold. Um, you can wear this when you're really fair or when you have a tan like me. Um, this is what it looks like on the finger and I will swatch it on the back of my hand. It's just, it gives you like such a pretty lit from within glow. You can build it up to be really intense like I did. Um, or sometimes I like to uh, kind of dip my beauty blender in this and then push it into the skin. It really melted into the skin and you can't see where like the highlight starts and the rest of your face begins, if that makes sense. But just a really pretty highlight. I've been using this nonstop. I really do recommend any of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. They have literally a shade for any skin tone out there. You, Your skin tone, they got you. They got you. Okay. All right, the next product I got, I actually picked this up at Kohl's, and I've heard so many people talking about this, and I do not like liquid liners like this, but I was like, everybody says it's amazing. I want to try it. And this is another product I have a love-hate relationship with. So this is a old-fashioned, you know, liquid liner that has the little wand applicator and a tiny little tip on the end. Um, I've never been successful with these. I've always struggled, but everybody's like, it is the blackest, mattest, long-lasting liner. You've got to try it. So I was like, okay, okay, I'm going to give in. I'm going to try it. I love it. Like, I, it is black, it is matte, and it stays. And if you got a steady hand, you can get that wing sharp enough to cut somebody. But it is so hard for me to use because most of you know, I'm completely blind in this eye. So I have to look really close to the mirror. And a lot of times, believe it or not, I do my liner by feeling like I'll put the tip down and then I just feel as I go like I always look when I do my wing but me trying to focus with my one good eye on this tiny little wand I swear to god I go cross-eyed sometimes I'm like all special so it is a wonderful product if you have great eyes I, I do like it I love the wings that I've been getting it just I have to concentrate so hard but I'll um I just spread it all over my hand. I'll show you how black it is. I mean, it is black and it dries down matte and it does not budge. I do have it on today. Um, this is probably the best liquid liner formula I've ever tried. Um, I usually prefer the pens because they're a little bit thicker and I can see the tip a little better. Um, but none of them are matte. They all dry down and have a little bit of a sheen to them. If I could get this formula in a pen, I would be set. I would be set for life. I would never buy another liquid liner till the day I died. But I struggled a little bit with it, but that's only because of my vision impairment. But I do think this is great. If you don't have issues seeing and you want a sharp, um, dark matte liner, I do recommend this. And it's like already, like look how black that is. Look how matte and look how black. It's like amazing. Like, I'm so amazed, but I just, <laughs> I need a bigger tip. All right, next item was sent to me from Patchology. This is their Flash Mask in Soothe. They sent me a pack of them. I've used it once and absolutely love it. I'll take one of them out. I only got two left. Actually, I've used, how many have I used? Two? I came with four. Oh, I have used two. Okay, I've used two of these. I love these. Like, it's soothe that it has aloe vera in it. So I was out in the sun last week and I did, I got burnt all on the bridge of my nose and my forehead. Like it hurt, it was not pretty. And I used one of these masks for my sunburn. And I'm telling you, it like cleared my sunburn up nearly overnight. Like I put this on, it's only for five minutes, but I left it on for like 30 minutes just cause it was so cooling and reflect, refreshing and it felt so good. And it has aloe vera in it, which is amazing for sunburn. Um, I grew up always having an aloe vera plant in my house. My mom is Native American, so that's like, she called it the Native American healing plant. I know I don't look Native American. My dad's Polish, so I take after the Polish side, blonde hair and blue eyes. And my sister looks Native American, but that's, I don't know why I'm rambling on about that. but. I really think this is going to come in handy for the summer because I plan on being outside a lot. Um, I know being out in the sun is not good and I had just been out there too long and didn't reapply any sunscreen and I got burnt but this uh, this definitely saved the day. And like I said it has aloe vera in it, cottonseed, shisandra berry, I don't, shisandra? 
Shisada berry? I don't know, but I like it. If you know you're going out, like say you're on a vacation, you know you're probably going to get burnt. I would go get some of these. They're very refreshing, very soothing. Um, I also did have like a blemish and I feel like it like calmed that down too. So I do recommend these. I love them. Thank you, Patchology, for sending me them. All right, and the last two products, I have another one coming in the mail. I wish it got here so I could show it to you. But one of my favorite YouTubers, Jazzy Philippette, came out with her own lashes line. So you guys know I was going to support her. And they're called Euphoria by Jazzy. I got Wifey and Dollface. I've already worn Wifey. I wore those yesterday. As you can see, they're not even in the packaging, correct? I wore these and I showed them on Snapchat. They are intense. Like, they're almost a little bit too big for me. I'm just not used to wearing such huge lashes. I'm going to try to, like, put them where they belong so I can show you. But even though they're very, very big, they feel like you have nothing on your eyes. They're so light. They are very easy to apply. Like, they don't have a super thick band, like House of Lashes. Like, I'm wearing House of Lashes Iconic um minis on my eye right now and they're like in all honesty until you break them in they're really difficult to wear like the inner corner keeps popping off um i finally break them in and it's like when i finally break them in i get like a few more uses uses why can't i talk today uses before it's like okay they're dead honey throw them away they're no good anymore but these were i mean they're intense they like hit my eyebrows but they're very beautiful, very wispy, very romantic. Um, I have that one like kind of, er, I did have to trim a lot off. Like I swear I took like a half an inch of lash off because they, were, I have very tiny eyes. But they're very light, they're very comfortable to wear, but dramatic. So if you like really dramatic lashes, but you hate how they feel like heavy, or you can like feel them on your eye, I would recommend these. I wore these all day yesterday. And I didn't even feel like I had lashes on. Like, my husband was like, girl, you look like you're ready to fly away with those lashes on your eyes because he wasn't used to seeing me with, like, such dramatic lashes. Um, but I do recommend them. I can't wait till the other pair. I think X-Rated is the other pair I got because they weren't in stock when I ordered these. And those are probably even more intense. So I'm going to have fun playing with those. But this one is Doll Face. And I just really like these. Um, they kind of remind me of like Demi Wispies and they're my favorite type of lashes. I'm going to have to trim these down quite a bit, but these are beautiful and these are very soft. Like they're, um, faux mink, but they're even softer than my actual mink lashes. Like I have velour lashes and these, I like these better. And the velour lashes, like if you're not, if you don't treat them like a newborn baby, they're going to tear and they're not going to last. Like you have to be so careful. Like you're working with a bomb about to go off because if you pull a little too hard here lashes get pulled out so i've been loving these i'm so happy to support jazzy philippec i love her i think she's so gorgeous i think she's one of the most beautiful girls i've ever laid eyes on um so i was really happy to support her and get these lashes i can't wait till the other ones come in so i will be wearing these a lot probably more dramatic looks i almost wore them today but um i don't know i always iconic Iconics are just iconic to me. They're my favorite. So it's really all I want to wear. So I will be testing these out even more. But they are the ones I did wear. The wifey were very comfortable. All right, I feel like I've been talking a mile a minute for the last hour. I'm borderline out of breath and a little bit tired. and feel like I need a nap. But I'm getting ready to go out and get sushi with my kids because it's Sunday and I don't feel like cooking. And my husband's out of town, so... We're going to go out to eat. But I hope you guys enjoyed this haul review. Um, let me know if you tried any of these products down below. What your thoughts are on them. What are your favorite things? What did you get during the sale? I know it happened a couple weeks ago. I'm always super late with doing these hauls because I want to try everything out. Um, but... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember, if you did, to make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are subscribed to me, make sure you hit that little bell notification. I know you hear everybody talking about this, but so many of you are telling me you're not seeing my videos come up in your feed. And I have noticed my views dropping significantly. And a lot of you are like, I never, I'm like just binge watched five of your videos because I didn't even know that they came up. So make sure you hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload. But I love you guys so, so much. And the next video will be a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. And I'll talk to you again real soon. I love you. Bye-bye.